Welcome to Contact Japan, the community show that highlights the many points of contact between Ottawa and Japan. Akemashite omedetou gozaimasu. I'm Sachiko Okuda, English co-host. On today's show, we feature two sets of guests. First, Osamu Wakabayashi and Bill Shin, whose software application, a baby monitor called BabySight, has just been released as an application for the iPhone and the iPod. Osamu and Bill, welcome to Contact Japan. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, both of you have just brought to market an application for the iPhone and iPod. Right. It's a baby monitor. That's right. So tell us how it works. Sure. <coughs> now, yeah, as you mentioned, uh, this is a baby monitor uh, on your iPhone so that you can carry on with it. <coughs> now, uh, the way it works is, um, um, as opposed to conventional baby monitor, uh, that requires laptop, has a website camera built in. Now, when we came up with this idea, uh, we thought, uh, the, first of all, like most of, of uh, household um, now has Wi-Fi at home, like Wi-Fi network at home. And then, I mean, as a result, uh, <clears throat> the laptop sales is going up, you know, people are looking for laptop rather than desktop computer. Right. So, mm -hmm. I mean, we assume that, like we know that uh, most of the people have two laptops, or if not, you know, um, probably in a few years, you know, most people have two laptops or maybe three laptops. And then uh, if you buy a laptop today, uh, you can, you, you know, most of laptop has website camera built in in your laptop. So, so the notion is, we use this website camera to capture and monitor baby or infant or children. And you can take a look at on your iPhone or iPod Touch. Um, oh, so the, the, the laptop stays in the room with the child That's correct. and access the camera, and the handheld you use remotely to check in. That's right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And the good thing about using Wi-Fi network uh, to stream video and the sound is uh, there's no interfere with other uh, devices such as cordless phone, telephone, or microwave. You know, sometimes conventional baby monitor interfere with uh, the Wi-Fi network in home. Uh, but uh, because, you know, we use Wi-Fi to communicate uh, between laptop and iPhone, so there's no I interfere uh, with the other devices. So that's the main uh, good reason to, you know, um, have this application if you want to use baby monitor. Now, uh, unfortunately, we don't have uh, Wi-Fi uh, in, this studio, in this studio. So, uh, but I, I made some uh, some images so like I can just uh, uh, flip through and uh, walk you through. <laughs> now, this is um, this is my basement. Uh, I put uh, my laptop on my desk, and so I can see uh, what my two kids kids are doing uh, in my basement. Uh, on this picture, you know, my kids are watching this TV, but sometimes. As you can see this video, uh, this is like streaming uh, f through Wi-Fi. This is what you can see uh, on your iPhone if you have this application. And then the kids are just playing and you know, sometimes kids are jumping on couch. So uh, you, know, uh, you can check that kind of stuff too. Um, as you notice that there's three buttons on the bottom. If you hit the button, you can play music. So now you can see. Music from iTunes. That's right. So you can actually uh, play and uh, stop from uh, iPhone or iPod Touch remotely. And then the music is coming from from laptop speaker. And you can turn it off. So that's basically how, you know, how, how it works. So you said that most people have a laptop with a built-in webcam. That's right. They have wireless internet in their homes. and often have an iPod or an iPhone. Is that how you got the idea? You thought about the, the, the hardware first and then came up with the, it's called baby sight, correct? That's right. Yeah. Baby sight. If you have iPhone or iPod touch, all you have to buy is just a piece of software, just download, and it doesn't cost as much as buying a... Yeah, I understand it's $5.99 to download this application. That's is there right. another fee involved? No, not at fee? all. That's really? all. Yeah. Now, you, you've been working together, but amazingly, I understand that neither of you is a software developer. Tell us about your collaboration and how you actually 
came together on this? Well, um, probably I can start with that. Um, I think that was about a year ago. Um, when Apple start uh, allow us to allow people to develop uh, software for for iPhones, and then uh, I thought, oh wow, that's that's what I'm going to do. You know, I, I've got some application I want to build, but I don't have any engineer background. You know, I'm not a programmer, so uh, I have to find somebody who can build for me. And then uh, I was actually calling people, asking people around. You know, I'm looking for somebody uh, who can develop application for iPhone. And uh, you know, do you guys know anybody? And if you know anybody, please let me know. And about six months later, uh, that was probably about last summer, uh, I got a phone call from from my friend. That happens to be like you know, he's our mutual friend, and he said, you know, I know Bill. You know, Bill is always looking for neat idea. And he is a programmer as well. So, and I call, call him up, and then we met uh, a coffee shop, uh, I think one weekend, and I meet, you know, I just explained what I want to do, and he said, it's okay, you know, let's try. So that's how we started. Uh, that was last yeah. summer, six months ago. Yes, yeah, so about six months ago. Six months ago? Yes. Yeah. And you, you've already brought the product to market. Yeah. That's <laughs> amazing. Now, I understand you have another product. Mm -hmm. um, Bill, can you tell us about that one? Yes, I have another iPhone application for checking the compatibility between people. So if you put okay. two people's birthday and gender, uh, the application shows the compatibility, compatibility chart for about two weeks. So you can check the compatibility between people for the walk play, love. Really? Yes. What, what is this application called? Yeah, social Rhythm. Social Rhythm. Yes, okay. social and, rhythm. and how are you two doing together? In <laughs> <social> <laughs> it, it, it goes very well, actually. In it, terms it of money making? <laughs> 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 For everything. Well, let's yeah. hope so. Yeah. Um, now, Osama, I know you're from Hokkaido. Right. And Bill, I know you're from Korea. Yes. Uh, although you speak Japanese. Mm -hmm. And I know that the baby site is available in with an English interface, French, but also Korean and Japanese. Yeah. Are you, are you targeting the, the Asian market? Uh, no. Um, First, we start selling this application. We are not really targeting uh, Japanese or Korean market or any specific country. We yeah. just target it for all around the world. I mean, yeah. I think the reason was, you know, I, you know, I speak Japanese and he he speaks Korean. So, you know, we said, you know, why don't we just translate mm -hmm. the application and localize? But uh, there wasn't any intention to uh, try to strive this certain market. Yeah. It just happened naturally. Yeah, but in t it turns out, um, I think 50% of buyers are from Japan. I really? Yeah, I don't know yeah. what's happening, but uh, it's interesting, you know, um, those applications, it goes globally. Well, Osamu and Bill, thank you very much for coming on Contact Japan to talk about your, your uh, iPhone application. And, you know, we'll, we'll check in on you. We'll thank check you. in on you okay, later and see how you're doing. And, you know, maybe we'll use the iPhone to do so. Good. Thank you Thanks for having us. Thanks very much. Thanks for inviting us. My pleasure.